Just like the title says, this is an idea for a new renoise and redux effect, dealing with feedback, much as in the same way as you'd find in an electric guitar setup. You should be able to take a sound from any point in the process and then feed it back earlier into the process. Feedback actually exists within the renoise and redux effects, the filters use it for resonance. The delay and multi-tap delay can delay left and right delays and then feed them back in. And the chorus flanger and phaser effects, they have their own feedback slider, which even has an inverse option where you put the slider below 0% and then that will actually invert the waveform. The problem is all of those are completely self-contained within the effect. What I want to do is create a long, complex effects chain and then insert a feedback device at any point in there and then that will take the sound and feed it back earlier into the process, which will be right at the start of an effects chain if it's in the sampler or right at the start of a track if it's in the pattern editor. Send devices kind of operate in a similar manner, which is why this mock-up is based on the send device. The way that it works though is that it always processes it forward because uh, in the pattern editor, tracks are processed left to right and in the sampler, the effects chains are processed top to bottom. And this is for the sake of efficiency and understanding exactly what's going to happen in a very, very predictable manner. That is not feedback though because the sound can never be pushed back within the process. And everything is processed at the same time. And by that, I mean that if you take a look at the sample rate, uh, for me it's 48 kilohertz, that means that 48,000 times a second, the sound will be generated in a slice. And so whenever you use the send, everything processes within that same slice. With the feedback effect, what you would want is for the sound to be held from the previous slice, then inserted at the start of uh, the track or sampler effects chain, and then processed and mixed with the sound from that sample effects chain or track as part of the next slice. Now my instinct is that you would want this to happen at the sample rate. So the size of the chunk that's held onto would be one forty eight thousandth of a second. Uh, maybe the chunks would have to be larger. I'm not really sure how this would work for the best. But uh, we do have another device which does hold on to larger chunks called the repeater. And this is one of the reasons that I think this would work because that tech is already in place. Everything in that track or sample effects chain up to the repeater is held onto and it's repeated every single time until it's changed to off. Any effects after the repeater in the chain will still affect that sound. And this is pretty much how you would expect the feedback device to work. And while thinking about how this device might operate, I came up with a few different variations, but I think this one, where it is simple and consistent with other similar devices like the Send device, that's the best way of doing things. And if it is possible to have this kind of effect working natively, because it is not possible to do this through the API at the moment, then this would be an excellent addition to the effects list, because you can do stuff with the effect chains and have them interact with each other in ways that is currently not possible. 